We'll rewind all the news intros. Here we go. Meadowbrook. Hey Meadowbrook, it's Jackson and Zane and we'll be your news anchors for this week. First let's find out what Reagan and Caitlin are up to with the weekly, weekly announcements. announcements. Hey Meadowbrook, it's Reagan and Caitlin with the last weekly announcements of 2018. It's Reagan and Caitlin with the weekly announcements. Make sure to enjoy your winter break and we'll see you guys back in 2019. Bye Meadowbrook! What a great message from the president. Next up is the MB Mail. Hey Meadowbrook, it's Bree and Grace with the MB Mail. And the first letter is... Dear MBMS, the girls' bathroom by the library only has two stalls that have working locks. We would deeply appreciate it if you could change that. Thank you. From girls who would like more bathroom stalls with locks. Let's go ask the office. Hi Bree, thanks for bringing the question um, to our attention. So we actually were not aware that there were issues with the locks in the bathroom stalls. And so we are going to work with our custodians on making sure that that issue gets resolved. So thank you for bringing it to our attention. Thank you. Dear News, I wanted to ask the cafeteria if they could sell gluten-free and lactose-free items. That would help someone like me who's very allergic to both lactose and gluten. Thank you, a really serious sixth grader. Shout out to Chloe, Aria, and Stephania. Alrighty, I'm going to answer this serious sixth grader. First of all, serious sixth grader, you need to come to talk to me, directly to me, so I can talk with you one-on-one. -on -one. Because, as a matter of fact, we already have gluten-free and lactose-free items that will meet the requirements that you are asking for. Please, come see me either before school, after school, after lunch when it's convenient, and we'll work that out with you. Thank you. Thanks for asking. And the last letter is, Dear Meadowbrook, can we dye your hair? Dyeing your hair is not against the dress code. This has been Grace and Bree with, with the MB Mail. All right. What's the most inspirational thing you've heard today? I don't know, I don't think I've heard anything inspirational. Let's go hear some wise words with the words of wisdom. Good morning Meadowbrook, this is Diego with the words of wisdom. We all have dreams, goals and ambitions things we want to accomplish or experience in our lives. Maybe it's a big dream like flying to the moon, or maybe it's more down to earth like wanting to make honor roll this grading period. Regardless of what our dreams are, it's important that we surround ourselves with people who believe in us and want to see us accomplish our goals. Now listen to what great American author Mark Twain has to say about this. Keep away from people who try to belittle our ambitions. 
Small people always do that. But really great people make you feel that you too can become great. Today, let's all behave like truly great people we are. Let's encourage each other's dreams and ambitions. With something to think about, this was Diego. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Next is the Mustang Meetup. Hi, my name's Christian. I'm Gabe. And welcome to the Mustang Meetup. So, what do you do here at Meadowbrook? So, here at Meadowbrook, pretty much I, I drive the food service truck. I, uh, I'll pick up food that's cooked here, deliver to the elementaries, and then I come back and I, I help them serve lunches out the window to guys like you. And uh, then I can take them to go pick up those cards and bring them back for tomorrow. So like ice cream or pizza? Uh, ice cream, I like chocolate chip or French vanilla. Uh, pizza, I like it all. Pizza's good. Do you have any hobbies or pets? I don't have any pets. Uh, I like to fish. Um, fish anytime I can, anywhere I can. Uh, if I'm not doing that or not at work, then I'm out playing in the desert. So. How long have you been driving here at Meadowbrook? A little over five years. And the last question is, what is your motivation? Uh, motivation is to meet guys like you, um, build a reputation, or a rapport with you guys. Um, you know, Christian here has been coming to my window for a couple of years now, and I've like, got to know him five seconds at a time. You know, and, uh, he'll come up to me. I like, last year he came up and had to sign his year with him. That just, that's just like basis for me. It was awesome. Thank you for being on the Mustang meetup, and thank you for serving Meadowbrook Great for For hey, have you voted for the 8th grade promotion party theme? No, how do you do it? Let's go find out. It's Ashley and Janae with the 8th grade promotion party. To vote for this year's 8th grade promotion party theme, go to tallyspace.com slash vote slash mbms. Voting started yesterday and will be open until this Friday, December 21st. Voting theme options include Venice, San Francisco, New York, and many more. You can also vote on different attractions like a variety of video games, carnival games, photo booth, and more. To log in, use your ID and numerical birthday as your password. Bye, Meadowbrook! Hey guys, it's Kevin with the Voice of Kindness. And the first letter is... To Miss Bernardi. You're amazing. Thank you for being the best teacher ever. From some people in first and fourth period classes. And the second letter is... Dear Desiree Turner, thanks for being a kind friend. From sixth grader. And the third letter is... Hi MVMS. I just want to say Riley, Bella, and Kelsey are so amazing. Riley is funny and beautiful. Bella is crazy and super caring. Kelsey is super nice and has good advice that I need. From me. And the fourth letter is... Whoever sees this, just know you should love yourself. Also love others around you. Dedicated to Scarlett H, Emily K, Grace W, Maddie H, Sophia J, and everyone who's important to me. From a grateful sixth grader. And the last letter is. Dear Avery and Riley, you two are the best people I've ever met and the funniest. Stay positive and crazy. From Miss Taco or your friend. Thank you to everybody who submitted a letter in the Voice of Kindness mailbox. Remember, the Voice of Kindness mailbox is located in room 501, right under the empty mail. Thanks for showing good kindness, Meadowbrook. Bye. So then it would just slide down like that, and the robot would have to press down this hard enough to make it go like that. So it, so it requires a lot of force from the robot's motor or it doesn't count for any points. Um, and then 
these are penalty um, points. So what it does is if this robot needs to press it, this to get to get a certain color, I believe you need to get green for this. And then these are exercise machines, so you'll need to train that to also. You know why you should always show a great character? You can oftentimes get rewarded with a character card. Let's go see the four winners for this week. Hey guys, it's just Dan with the character cards. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna throw this frisbee at the character cards over there. Whichever character card lands closest to the frisbee or if the frisbee lands on top of the character card, they're gonna be the winner, so let's get started. Krishan Pia Pila. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Asher Anderson. And the winner is Emily. And the winner is Elizabeth Shushkuva. The people that did not win were going to the trimester with pizza with friends drawing that will be chosen at the end of the year. And this character card doesn't have a name on it, so sorry, buddy. Congratulations to those four lucky winners. Next up is the ASP with Pajama Day. Good morning, Meadowbrook. Today we'll be talking about PJ Day and the Winter Concert. This Friday, half of your second period will be spent watching the Winter Concert. This Friday is also Pajama Day. Make sure to wear your PJs, but remember, dress code still applies. Peace out, Meadowbrook! Please stand, face the flag, put your right hand over your heart, ready, begin.